zero picks. Impeccable in the pass game as well. Starts with a handoff to Ray Holly. He's got nothing. Here tonight. One play for Holly. Kenneth Dixon now comes in at running back. And Cameron pressured and drilled. Income sideline at times. Nine drop into coverage. So Cameron has all day and finds a window for Miles White. But all right, Kara, first down and 10 for Louisiana Tech from the 45. The screen game, a big part of what they do. And this is the last preseason player of the year, Quentin Patton. Be successful on that play tonight. Into AM territory. Bennett Dixon, the true freshman. The whack player of the and the quarterback is playing with a ton of confidence. He typically makes the right decision. Dixon swings out of the backfield, but they go the other way into traffic and miles wide. Inside, but look for it early and often tonight. Holly spun down. Got Five come on the slam. No flag. Tex. Third ranked offense in the country do anything. Holly swings out and they come back to DJ Banks. And also making it an issue. Warner who calls the cadence. Here's a trick play trying to get Quentin Patton to the edge, but that SEC speed, two bucks. Trying to get a drive started. Trips to the short side of the field. Nine drop into coverage. And Cameron will get what he can. With a nice cutback. But he's still 12 yards short of the first down. Got about that. Play action on first down. The offensive line gives him a chance, and he throws wide to Kenneth Dixon. One of the things the coaches praise is his ability to make those easy first in the SEC so far. Throw the out. Hit it across the 30. Two. Over the middle, bobbled and dropped. Again, back to work with a penalty extending the drive and a strong first down run for Kenneth Dixon, the true freshman that ran for fourth down. Here's Quentin Patton using his blockers to explode for a first down. Looking for Patton again, one on one, spins out of the tackle of Tremaine Jacobs, and then Donnie Bags strong to bring him down. Second and seven into the flats. Ray Holly. addition the little bone, and they'll throw out of it. High throw incomplete, looking for Miles White. Probably going to go for it here, aren't you? Oh, I think you have to at this point in time. Pressure comes. They pick it up. Cameron looking for Patton, and he overshot an open man. Texas A&M takes control. Quentin Patton, who makes a man miss, and flies down the sideline across the 45. 21-yard gain on first down, and he's as advertised. Pats. Kenneth Dixon bounce it outside. He gets five on first down. Jermaine Jacobs with the tackle, and it's second and five. And again, Cameron showing off his legs. But a nice block peeling back, and too good of a block. A flag flies. John Greenwald going to get called. And it was I, Spencer Neely. Converted defensive tackle, working a defensive end, and he's been a pleasant surprise for the first down. Hog tied by Donnie Baggs, who's making an impact, getting the start. To letting it fly for Quentin Patton. Big flag. Tremaine Jacobs called for pass interference. And you know that Kevin Summons going to be arguing that it was uncatchable. And Patton was just in time, lofted the Richie Casey. Second catch of the day for the fifth year senior from Homer, Louisiana. Offensive line gets the job done, and Kenneth Dixon gets upended by Tony Hurd after a first down carry of seven. And in a hurry. Inside the 15. This is an offense that'll run the same play over and over if they've got it. Yeah, when they're in the rhythm, and right now that big boat is Greenwald. Cuts it upfield and is close to a first down. Spencer nearly back to make the stop. And we use the word tight ends loosely here because the second tight Patton, touchdown! <laughs> Tackle by Sean Porter. Six yards to the 31 on 
Patton's sixth catch of the game. And if you're a Louisiana Tech offense. Made a man miss and breaks into the open field. Steven Terrell runs him out of bounds after a gain of 14. Now the question is whether this mark ready for play. And Ray Holly stopped by Sean Porter. The beauty, Joe, of running this kind of offense is slant the pat and he spins into the open field. Man, is this kid special. Tremaine Jacobs makes the tackle, but now before he runs for 27. Point out the quarterback thrown back. Now they're picking on Jacobs, and that time he stood tall. Thrown for a loss of a couple. Now it'll be second. Bounced off a of contact. Block in front from Paris, and it's first down and goal. 22 yard run for the true freshman. Well, the big bone wants it. Second and goal. This is what we expected, really. Kind of a tennis match. Back and forth, back and forth. Zone off of the hands of R.P. Stewart, who has four catches this year, two of them touchdowns, almost had a third. And that was a real goal. And Dixon lowers the shoulder for a touchdown. Ninth of the season for the true freshman. is blocked and headed the other way. Dustin Harris, goodbye. Two points for Texas A&M. Coverage. So he dumps it off to Ray Holly, who slips a man and is out of bounds past the 40. 17-yard first down game. That's always the most important play on that two-minute yeah, offense. You can see the core of what Louisiana Tech is capable of. Average. So Cameron dumps it underneath to Holly again. Great speed for Ray Holly. First down into Texas A&M territory. 19 yards this time for the fifth-year senior. And that's what 26 ticks left in this half. Kill the clock, save the timeout. You could potentially throw the ball over the middle of the... Cameron tucks it early. Looking for the sideline, and he gets there. Lloyd Raven bumped him out. With Texas A. It's picked up. Cameron throwing it out of the back of the end zone, and it's fourth down. And again, they need to get to the 30 to get to within range of Nelson's career long, plus there's a wind yeah. in his face. You can see the wind's effect on the ball as it flutters out there, but now for a first down, nine seconds and one timeout. Yeah, Cameron was really dead. And zings it into traffic. It's tipped and incomplete. Dustin Harris, who ran back two points and a blocked extra point with a breakup, and now you got to go to the end zone. And Joe, you talk. Next play of the second half to Quentin Patton, who's already got his ninth reception of the game. And the style of this offense, Joe, is to methodically. Who had a touchdown run during the first half. Jonathan Stewart there, but Dixon keeps the legs turning and has a first down. They found this in the at the end of the first half. The big bone. One on one makes the defender miss. Quentin Patton into Texas A&M territory. Tony Hurd forced him out after a gain of 21. It doesn't down to the 37. Demontre Moore with a stop and it's second and five. Quentin cutting it upfield. Shy of the first down by a yard. It's third and one. And it would be nice to see Louisiana Tech get back into this game. Post. Poorly thrown by Cameron, and he knew it. Dustin Harris had coverage, but he get Pat one-on-one. -on -one. He got to take advantage. Yeah, and it was a missed opportunity. Pat Texas A&M slams the door. Jonathan Stewart, all-SEC candidate. And the Aggies with a stop on possession. This time, Dustin Harris, who has moved over to cover him. That's an adjustment. <laughs> yeah. Makes a tackle. Yeah, that's great you picked up on that because you're right. This is Hunter Lee. Walked on last season, led the team in rushing. He's moved to the H receiver and has a grab for 21. He's at that. Does a good job of getting north and south, sticking that foot in the ground with a cut. Seven on first down, second and three. And again, the game for Louisiana. Ali slips it a defender and gets a first down. Juco transfer that missed most of last season after suffering three. Another first down. Steven Terrell with a stop inside the 30. You can see the effect that the rhythm of this. Ice. And boy, Dustin Harris doing a nice job on Quentin Patton. 
two yards, second and eight. I actually like, like Pat now. Fifth catch of the season, and it makes it third down and three. That was the safety coming down in the box. And holds on despite the hit from Tony Hurd, but he's short of the first down. Fourth and a little bit. They convert with Lee. Hunter Lee reaching up and pulling it down. It's first down at the 13. They ran the outside receiver off and at the goal line. No signal yet. It's first down and goal. They'll spot him inside the one. The Montre Moore's helmet came off. You can see him trying to sneak it back on before the officials notice. Just touchdown tech. Second of the day, don't go away. It's down on a fade, working against Floyd Raven. Two score game in Shreveport. The mailman in the house, Louisiana Tech. Basketball speed out. Working against Devontae Harris for six yards on first down. White with his fourth catch of the day. With a tremendous play, had he not gotten the hand on it, would have been one on one with the Devontae Harris and Quentin Patton. And poor foot finds Lee, who's short of the first down. And they're going to keep the offense on the field. He's interfered with. Senior working on a true freshman. Then the vet gets the better side of it. The true freshman. Gavin Stansberry still gets four or five yards on first down. Crumbles down close to the first down marker. We're going to spot him a little bit short, it looks. Yeah, I think his slide started a little bit too early that time, but just trying to keep the. Calls it in. Pass interference. Which way is it going to go? Patton's in for a touchdown, but a flag down. I think Patton might get called for it here. I think he pushed off on the true freshman. And really kick off and get it chunked back. It'll be fourth and nine from the 44. Jonathan Stewart with the tackle. And a flag. Dustin Harris. Flagged out. Looking for Holly. Worked out of the backfield and got held on his way downfield. With Demontre Moore, number 90. That's behind the block of Josh Harris. He gets dropped by Julian Obioha and Demontre Moore. Second and eight. Remember the fake. Dropped. Well, the young freshman is running to cover the fade, so what you. And it looks like he's got a first down inside the five. He does. It's first and goal. Out of the day for Quentin Patton. Tremaine Jacobs on that particular play. Cameron knows that he runs an offense that can get back in in almost any game. What is he up to yardage wise? I mean, he's catching touchdowns out left and right. And and it's interesting to see Texas to the outside. First down, reaching for the 40. 13 yard pickup for the true freshman. Demontre Moore comes back to make the stop. Dixon is a nice build at the line of scrimmage. Joe, Louisiana Tech is known to run the same play over and over again when they get in that rhythm. First down and narrowly misses going the distance. And the fans here wanted a horse collar on this tackle. It's been a good day for Ray Holly, the fifth year senior out of Orange, California, that missed all the last season or missed most. Devontre Moore with the tackle. Well, Big Bone is an open invitation for Texas AM safeties to get down and run support. Keeps it alive and stumbles back at the original line of scrimmage. It'll be third down and ten, or it'll be fourth down and ten when the fourth quarter begins. Donnie Baggs over to make the stop with Dustin Harris. The quick bubble screen to the receiver Hunter inside with. Patton blocking well. So get called. Only way they can stop him right now, partner. That was pretty decent coverage, but it seems like either he catches it. Down, and it's second and three. 
Texas A&M is daring Louisiana Tech to run the football. They're going with two high safeties. When Louisiana and I'm playing around right now with the alignment of those safeties pre-play. You're exactly right. And Louisiana Tech is in a run heavy formation and actually big bonus zone quarterback read by Cameron on that particular play. And remember, there's plenty of time here. So the entire offense run and pass is on the table. Grew had Grew gotten the block. There was nobody behind it. And Patton's helmet comes <laughs> off on a non penalty play. So for this third down and four, he's wow. out of the game. <laughs> It's Andrew Gia, the most certainly review a 22 yard completion. Well, Gia is running into the end zone. Touchdown, Tech. Flag down back at the line of scrimmage that is likely face mask. And in the end, he gets it in the end zone. Now, though, Kelly, you got to go for two. What do you call him? I like a three by one set Personal with my foul. guy Patton. Last in the face mask. The goal to play is a touchdown. The penalty will be a minute. Supply myself. Exactly. That's a great point, Joe, because the safety inside can help you defend the feet outside. And once. Harris, Texas A&M maintains a two-point lead. Texas A&M did a tremendous job of showing that it was going to be one-on-one -on -one outside. Five yards, second and five. And remember, La Tech only has one timeout because of that timeout they had to burn on that defensive confusion. It's only, there's still plenty of time, but Mark Snyder has just flat said that Patton isn't going to beat us tonight. Typically, he's getting needed three, got four. And you have to have a sense of urgency, but you don't have to be fast out of your comfort zone. You play that way anyway. Down near six minutes in a two-score game. But trying to throw the tunnel screen out wide doesn't have impeccable timing when your quarterback dribbles the football. But Fourth in the country. Demontre Moore coming off the edge right there. And that's what you see, the good hands. His feet don't stop when his hands are... Well, we talked about Cameron needing to get a play somewhere else, and Miles White is that guy. You can see coming from the outside, running to the post, a tremendous... My fourth touchdown for the general. 62-yarder. They've got to go for two. They don't have to go for two, an extra point. The field, and we talked about Mantell's numbers. How about Patton's numbers? Look at 20 catches. I mean, that's, that's Xbox stuff. I don't, it's amazing, but this young man has earned it. The 229 yard question is, did Louisiana Tech touch it before the mandatory 10 yards? And I think Texas A&M touched it first, so then all bets are off, and Louisiana Tech can get it regardless of what happens. Nine. To number 30, 30, Jontel Franklin. I don't believe in and Pauly touched it at all. And then it was recovered by Hunter Lee. I personally think it's going to be 40. A tremendous read that by time by Cameron the running back is the check down outside and nothing was there downfield give it to someone who can get block will stop until the chains are moved but remember until they get under a minute it continues to roll so a sense of urgency by Cameron right here is called for the ball was a little high as Patton was sitting outside but the question is did he get a foot down and the answer is yes the right foot is down clearly Twenty four yards inside of a minute left. Louisiana Tech is getting a, an inviting run look out of Texas. And now they've got to go for two. So went for R.P. Stewart. And the look on Sonny Dyke's face almost says why.